Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at the Questar Tri-Stand. This is a mount dedicated to the Questar telescope and the mount matches the quality of the telescope as you'll see. Here's the Tri-Stand in its most portable configuration. That's how you'd carry it. Now let's set it up. Here's how this lid works. This pulls out. There's a notch that you can see there. And that notch engages up here. Like that. And tighten it back down. Okay, we're all set. Okay, now let's get ready for polar alignment. You've got three mounting bolts that hold the head on the little pier. You can rotate these around all sorts of different directions. Rotate this around any direction you want. So once you lock it down with those three, then you've got this. This gives you azimuth control. Let me turn this around so you can see there's a lock over on this side here that locks that. So you can turn it here, back here, lock it there. There's the how you turn it, there's how you lock it. These things are supposed to be locked down. So you're let's suppose you're roughly in position, then you uh, want to pull or align it. You will do all the stuff with the scope up here. You can adjust the azimuth setting here, then lock it down. Similarly, for the altitude adjustment, you've got a lock here, and then you've got this that adjusts for the altitude. Here's the latitude scale, adjusting it. It seems rather coarse, but actually in practice, it's good enough. You can get very, very, very close. In this configuration, this is only good for to about 23 degrees, uh, but that F23 to 90. So that will be good enough for any place in the United States, most, most any place in the world. But if you need to go further south, there is a special wedge you can get that um, adjusts this, makes it go farther south. This will give you adequate, very, very adequate, precise, easy, simple polar alignment. Precise enough, certainly, to be able to use the setting circles. The head of the tray stand comes off very easily with these three two, with these three screws. Pulls right off there. You can then, um, Questar sells an adapter. You can put this on a regular tripod. It's a very simple, straightforward piece of machining, though. Easy to make an adapter that will fit most anything, like this. If you don't like the rather clunky and sort of heavy uh, pier here, you can mount it to a standard tripod, something like this. I do recommend a good, sturdy, beefy tripod like this. This is how the leveling feet work on this. You can turn this and bring the leg down and theoretically tighten it up with this. Bring it up. Very simple. This is an adapter piece I made, just a piece of tube about a foot long. With the addition of this piece, this mount, the tri stand, can be converted into the Astro Pier, that mount. Now I have this converted to an astro pier, the equivalent of an astro pier. It's exactly the same. Everything is the same except for the height. It's about a foot higher. I bought this tri stand partly because I wanted to compare it with the 
homemade tripod and wedge I made for my Questar. Um, and I had read about these, but I really had never had a chance to try one out. And when I got a chance to try this thing out, I found uh, I was very impressed. First of all, it's quite innovative. It's extremely well built. It's um, the very thing you would expect for a Questar. Uh, it's just perfect in most respects. It's got some flaws, and we'll talk about that. But uh, it's just superb. It's a wonderful mount. There's an old saying, uh, if you buy the best, you only cry once. And that's true. If you own a Questar, you know that. I've already made that decision. And this is the best. It's premium. It's just absolutely superb. Everything about it is extremely well made. Uh, now, how does it compare with my little home built outfit? When the legs are fully extended on my mount, uh, this is just about as tall as the Astro Pier. It's also a little bit more stable because the legs are further apart, although both mounts are rock steady. One of the brilliant innovations of this mount is that no matter what position you're in with regard to the latitude, the center of gravity of the telescope system is directly over the center of the pier. So it doesn't matter if even if this pier was a lot taller, the telescope would still be perfectly balanced. When you put my homemade mount at its uh, the lowest latitude, it's tipped quite a ways over here. And it does move the center of gravity of the whole system as much as maybe an inch and a half, two inches, something like that. It's easy to compensate for that by having a wider set of legs for this. But I think the Astro Pier wins on this one. Now, in terms of weight, that's a bit of an issue. This thing is known to have a weight problem. It's got, it weighs 26 pounds as it sits. In the Astro Pier configuration with, uh, that's another five pounds a tube or so, it gets to almost 30 pounds. So you're talking about a lot of weight for this guy. This one here is not lightweight, it's 18 pounds. The tri-stand has a range of 23 to 90 degrees. This one won't go quite flat, so it's got a range from 15 to 65 degrees. Both mounts can be modified to handle all latitudes, so this is a toss-up. Uh, in terms of flexibility, this one has these folding legs here, which are <laughs> wonderfully innovative, brilliantly executed uh, piece of machining. I love them, but they're also pretty clunky, a little awkward. I think you saw me trying to work to get the things folded out and so forth. Um, it's a little bit tricky with that. This thing has extendable legs. Now, that's an important factor. This thing, if you want to go to a different height, you have to buy the tube or build your own tube or do something. Uh, you're, you're kind of stuck at one height with one of these mounts. Generally, people either have the Astro Pier or the Tri-Stand, or one or the other. In terms of basic polar alignment, either one of these is superb. Really, really good. You're gonna, and I've tried them both. I've used them both for polar alignment. Um, and you're gonna find that either one will do the job for you wonderfully well. Compactness, you can fold this one up pretty compactly. This one, as you have seen, even at its most compact, it's pretty clunky. <laughs> it's kind of big. The tri-stand comes very close to perfection. However, I think my mount does a pretty good job too. What do you think? This is a very nice, sturdy mount, and uh, it's, it's perfect for a Questar. As a matter of fact, the mount is so sturdy that it could easily hold a bigger scope. I happen to have a Quantum 4, which is a sort of a sibling to the Questar. Um, and I thought, why not make this compatible with the Quantum 4? So I built this little plate here. Little, it's pretty heavy. It's actually, it's 3 8 inch thick, and it's a pretty heavy duty. The, the Quantum 4 is a heavier scope. It's also got a couple of extra, you know, there's an extra rectangular hole for the Questar, and then there's a round hole. That's for the Quantum 4. And it's got a, an entirely different kind of mounting system. Let me mount this on there and show you what it looks like. Here's the back side of the Quantum 4. I designed this to have a couple of slots there so it'll be easy to mount this. 
and you'll notice that there is only one position. This, uh, this power plug goes right in there. That has to match up with that hole. I think Quantum 4 looks pretty good on this mount, don't you? And of course this plate is also compatible with the original Questar. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Questar Tri-Stand. Thank you for watching.